How's isolation suiting you? Well, I think what was is probably uh, we're not too bad because at least we we're, we're, we're liking it, liking it to a um, a tour. <laughs> well, we did we did go on a tour recently. I mean, you know, the tour we went on for two. You know, that was a three months um, together. And just basic, the two of us in really? isolation. So we've, we've got we've got a lot of a lot of experience with it. Put it that way. <laughs> That's right. Well, um, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Because two in two, Jim Cartwright's uh, wonderful play. You uh, were playing a married couple, landlord and landlady, and various other characters as well. Mm. And then you go home and you're a married couple. So mm. what's the line? Where do you draw the line there? Where do you go, OK, this is work and this is life, if there is a line? Um, well, oh, I think, the, I, I think line. The, li the line's pretty clear. I mean, the thing is, I, I think it's, it's funny. The more that we did the, the tour, um, it became clearer and clearer, I think, um, that... You know, the, 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 we both uh, go into showtime. Um, we do that sort of together and independently. And when the, when the curtain comes down, uh, independently and together, we go, that's it, the show's now finished. But, yeah, so the line is actually pretty clear. And, th and therefore, I think, which is why it worked as well as it did. I think, yeah, performances are very different to, say, perhaps um, rehearsal rooms or, um, yeah. or um I don't know, working in some other way together, like yeah. putting a piece of IKEA furniture together, <laughs> doesn't work for us. Really, doesn't work. No, uh, no. <laughs> too many differences. Um, but <laughs> that's very good. Well, it's yes, true. it's true. But being out on the stage together, it, it just—I don't know. Everything oh. changes, and performance is performance, and and you just go, oh, that's it was it was kind of perfect. Yeah, it worked. Work. And luckily. We, we get along quite well together, and that's mm. why we're quite practised at doing things like staying in the house, just the two of us together. Mm. 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 We hope yes. you're doing a play called Killing Katie. Uh, I, I really uh, hope we're doing Confessions of a Book Club uh, later on this year, towards uh, in October time. Uh, can you tell us anything about that character that you're playing? Well, at the moment, I've, again, I haven't really decided, but she's a very complicated, interesting character, which, of course, I straight away um, find really exciting to be able to work on and work mm. with. Mm. Um, it's a fabulous cast. We've done a, we've done a, a reading um, and we've done a workshop, um, and there were a lot of things that were, that were I talked about during the time of the workshop, which was just... Fabulous! It was—it's such a fabulous thing, and we felt so privileged, um, the actors and the writer, and um, in the room to be able to, and the director to be able to actually sit down so early on mm. and and discuss a script and pull the script apart to a degree and, and really have a think about those characters. Recently, you uh, you performed with Stevie Rogers in the, the classic Neil Simon comedy, The Odd Couple, which mm. was. Uh, um, one of my favourite uh, experiences, having directed it and watching mm. it. And there are certain plays that, I, I mean, most plays mean thing, different things to me, but there are certain plays that I love to watch again and again, um, and it's a pleasure watching, and, and The Odd Couple was one of them. That process for you, uh, American accent, uh, Felix the obsessive, how, how did that go creating that character, and how was that in terms of from creating in rehearsal room to performing nightly? Um, it was it was extremely challenging, to say the least. Uh, I think uh, Stevie Rogers, everyone in that cast, and that was a really superb cast. Amazing, yeah. Uh, I think we underestimated, or I certainly underestimated, how difficult the actual play would be. You kind of think, oh, well, it's the odd couple. It's stood up to the test of time. We should be able to, you know, but it's much, much more difficult than that. It's razor sharp, and yeah. I, I it, you just can't get it wrong. Also, uh, there's a reason why it is, um, it's his, probably his most famous play is because it's so well written. Um, it really is, uh, I mean, it's, it's a lesson in writing in many ways, certainly in comedy, and comedy has come from plays like that, certainly to where we are now. Yeah. Um, and yes, there were really specific things that have to happen with the accent about the New York accent in that particular period is quite different to the New York accent now. Mm. Um, and also, I put this pressure on myself. Um, I had a sort of an expectation, or there was an expectation of what Felix Unger might be, mm. um, who he was. There's a, there is a bit of um, there's something that comes with it. So I felt, I felt I wanted, I wanted to, to be everything it should be. Perhaps I don't know. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. um, but, and that got down to all sorts of things in terms of look um, and stuff. And it was, yeah, it was without doubt one of the most challenging roles I've ever done. Which I was surprised that, that would be the case. But it was exhausting because they just <laughs> never, never, they never shut up, basically. Yeah. Um, and, but it was just, it was really, it was, it was, as you've just described before, in certain plays, it's rock and roll theatre. Yeah, um, it was, yeah. Once it, once it starts, it's yeah. just, it is a roller coaster. And for you, Kate, we did uh, Mary Stewart uh, those years back, and uh, I remember you saying this is a real challenge for me. I mean, you were you did it brilliantly, but again, it's Thanks. one of those you, you're sort of on the on a, a knife edge while you're in the rehearsal room, and you're not sure if you can put it off or not. That's exactly right. That was that was that was mine, very much so. Um, you just always wonder whether or not it's. Um, I've had a couple of roles like that in my. Mm. In, in my career so far, and, and they're and they're always the ones that you never forget, mm. but they're also the ones that um, that you lose sleep over because <laughs> you actually think that maybe mm. maybe I can't maybe I maybe I can't do this. Mm. I've bitten off more than I could chew, mm. um, but no, it was it was just a fabulous experience, Mary Stewart, and um, beautiful play. Yeah, it's such a beautiful play, and I was just going back recently because. I was just posting a few things on um, my Facebook page, and I and I found this wonderful photo of mm. um, of me in costume doing Mary with my long hair and yeah. the hair I the hair I always have always wanted. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It, it was your um, hair though, wasn't it? Happy though to keep it on my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Keep your head on the yeah, hair. yeah. Um, that was but, your hair though, wasn't it, Katie? Was it your hair that long thing? I can't remember. No. Oh, you don't remember? Oh, it was a. I do now. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I don't know. Yeah. It, was, it was a, a beautiful wig that was Very made well for me. Very well done, yeah. wasn't it? It yeah. was a beautiful wig that yeah. was um, crafted for me, and 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 it was very long hair. It was just fabulous. But aside from that, it was this joyous moment where she's flying herself around the stage and having mm. a wonderful moment when she was running around. But maybe I could use that wig. And I don't. I, I would like that wig. Maybe you'd we be could good. Find somewhere to work that in. I think we just don't great. need a wig.